I'm muted, aren't I? Hi. <laughs> We're marching to Mythic and Mom. It's May. This is our fourth draft. We've done three drafts today, and I'm pleased to announce we hit we hit uh, platinum on the first go. And now we're platinum 4-2 pips, platinum 4-3 pips, something pretty mediocre. Oh, yeah. Let's see if we get some good stuff here. Oh, my God. I've always wanted to cast this. Dude, Ancient Imperiosaur. Convoke, trample, ward two. It enters the battlefield with two plus one plus one counters for each creature that convoked it. And I would love a botanical brawler as well. This pack is amazing. We got the Skyclave Aerialist. We got the Collective Nightmare. This guy sucks. Invasion of Ergamon is great. Botanical Brawler is great. Cut Short is great. I'm marking the Ancient Imperiosaur. We're going to try to go green. That's what we're doing this game. Ancient Imperiosaur. Love to see it. Okay, there's Zimone. All right. Whenever you draw your second card, your opponent loses life and gain a life. Sack creature, draw a card. Put a land card from hand onto the battlefield. Repeat this process once. All right. All right, let me... I have some focaccia bread that I wish to eat. So what is the best one to pick here? We have the Seraph of New Capenna. That is solid. Can transform into an even more solid flyer. Veteran. Um, white, black, then in white, green. But I kind of want to force white, green, because I just want to cast the Ancient Imperiosaur. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I think Mutagen Connoisseur is probably better, though. If we're doing uh, green, blue as our main colors, it's much easier to splash for things like Zimone and Dina. Just works a little bit better. God, God, do I want to just... Grab the Seraph of New Capenna. God, I don't want to grab the Seraph of New Capenna. Is there anything else gonna do? No, I'm doing it. I don't care, man. This is my stream. Okay, we really should have... We really should have just resisted that urge. Collective Nightmare this deep is really rare. That's that's kind of insane. Invasion of Pyrulia. All right, fine. Fine, fine, fine. I make you a mistake -y. It's fine. Um... Rex and Gargantua, Final Flourish, probably Final Flourish, probably Final Flourish. Probably Final Flourish. Dude, there is a lot of green black, or excuse me, um, uh, blue black here. Hmm. That's some good stuff. Elvish Vat Keeper is just nice. We are we are clearly in the green black colors, splashing a little bit for Zamone and Zena. And I'm sad about that. I'm really sad. Mmm. This focaccia is so fucking good. Unsealed Necropolis is a very good one to have if you have a couple key creatures, you know, like Zimone and Dina, Ancient Imperiosaur. Very pleased to be getting this one. I really hope the Invasion of Pyrulia flips all the way around. I legit might go get the rest of this focaccia loaf. It's so good. Dude, it's focaccia, it has Parmesan cheese and sun-dried tomatoes on it. Like, get out of town. That's so good. What is a Blight Reaper Thala doing here? Yeah! All right, I love this card. Oh my god, nice. Please tell us all the focaccia details. It's very chewy. All right, I think it was good for me to be in the color black here. I mean... I mean. Hmm. 
Yargle, we're getting him. Yargle, the legend. Welcome back, Yargle. Converter Beast is actually quite nice with Elvish Vatkeeper. I think this is an under-celebrated card. Collective Nightmare. Dude, Blight Reaper Thalad is great with these Kinfolk things. No fucking way. Rewarded. Absolutely rewarded. Roll this guy. Probably not going to run Yargle, but I'll, I'll keep him tucked. All right, hopefully when this new pack rolls around, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run from this room. I'm going to get the remainder of this unbelievable focaccia and put it on this. And I'm going to just eat. Eat and eat and eat. Oh my god, I'm out of water. Oh my god, there's a lot of shit going wrong. But there's also a lot of shit going right. We have the Ancient Imperiosaur. Trample Ward 2. Man, you can cast this guy early. I mean, like, literally, imagine I flip the Blight Reaper Thalad. So it's turn 4. I have a 3-3 three, three and a 1-1. One, one. 4, 5, 6. Yeah, I still can't cast this. Huh. Yep, I think Seed of Hope is is good. Very reasonable in this kind of list. Crystal Carapace, I've never seen cast. Camera's focused on my cat. Damn it. Focus on me. Eh? So I see an invasion of Eldraine. I like this card. I also see a Cosmic Hunger. I like this card. No, no, not a chance. Not a chance are you allowed to be there. Yep. Meow, meow. I think I'm just going to get Invasion of Eldraine. It's kind of straightforward to play. Always feels good to play it, too. Come on. Am I ever going to be able to cast this? I think we have to resist. Around then bam. AKA around the barn. I really think it's... You know what? We're doing it. It's Galta and Mavern, I think. I think it is Galton Mavern. I think the invasion of Moraganda is good. I also think the Ecker Drinker is good. It's just a basic fight effect, but I think it's still reasonable enough in our list. We also have some focaccia around, then bam. How you doing, man? It's been a bit. It's been a little bit. Round the Bam says, how do you remember that? Dude, I remember all you. I remember all y'all. Ooh, my goodness. We're in the right colors. I think the Herbology Instructor is the best one here. It's a life-gaining two-drop that can flip and deal more damage. I really want every single card here. I'm probably going to get some of this stuff to wheel. I, I want literally every card in this pack. Thornwood Falls is also a good one. The only duel that I don't want, huh? Yep, yeah, I think this arachnoid adaptation is good enough.
I'm actually gonna get the Larry Thespian. I do like a plastic. You know, I actually, I, I'm actually just gonna get the Rotten Tail. I think this Rotten Tail is just ridiculously, ridiculously good. Tandem takedown or a skittering surveyor. I think in. Oh my god. I mean, this is actually really shit here, man. I think I have to take the tandem takedown. It's way too good. It's, it's way ridiculously too good. I do know that um, it is good to be in green. That is good news, though. We have a lot of good three mana cards. A lot, lot, lot of good ones. Probably Urn of Goldfire here. This this helps us do the fixing that we need to cast all of our insane and ridiculous garbage. Wildwood Escort, huh? I think I'm I'm content running a second arachnold adaptation, I think. I think, I think, I think. Well, actually, Traumatic Revelation is really good with our Vat Keeper. Yeah, I think I'll keep it down to one. Nice. Really nice. The only duels that I need are the ones I'm not getting. Galta still appears to be out of reach. Whoa, I want the whole pack. Calm you whispered hopes. Elvish Vat Keeper. Calm you whispered hopes. Makes it a little easier to cast our things. I mean, is that great? It's just really these two or this. Knight Errant Eos. I'm at the Vat Keeper and probably trim some stuff. It's very Claw of Progress. I like Invasion of Pyrulia. I think this is right. I think this is right. I think this is what I'm going to do. Converter Beast. Completed Hunt Master. We don't really have that I mean, I honestly just have way, way, way too many. Oh, a Rixmathese? No way. Hell yeah. Dude, dude, oh my god, yes. Galta is out. Straight up. I should have said that earlier. Dude, a Rixmathese, yes. Gittering Surveyor, hell yeah. We have some cuts we need to make, but I think I think we're actually going to be okay. I think I think we're actually going to be okay. Probably actually the Gloomfang Mauler, I think. 
I think Gloomfang is, is a little bit better. This might also wheel. Dude, around then, bam! Another gifted... Oh my god! Around the barn. <laughs> I like how you, you, you capitalized on and really off. My three mana slot is a little bit packed. That was a great, 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 great land pickup. Like, what do we think about this? I don't mess around with this third color. Maybe I run Zimone and Dina. Something like this. Seems a little bit more sensible, right? It has a little less raw power. We might be able to actually make this work. Because it's it's really between these two. I think I'm going to go try to get this one. No, we were correct. This one did wheel. I mean, it's, it's really... I'm really close to being able to do some ridiculous shit. We're gonna try. We're gonna try to see if we can get all these green blue cards in, because we have some pretty good green blue. Maybe Flywheel Racer will actually be relevant. Another one, huh? All right. I present to you the thickest three-drop slot the world has ever seen. This is weird. This is weird. We have so many mutagen connoisseurs. All right, let's get rid of anything that's marginal. I don't think I can quite fit in I don't think these are very good, I'll be honest. Like, what if we went one, two, three? Sheriff is literally going to drive me insane. Yeah, I actually think this is okay. I think this is it. I, I, I actually think this is this is nice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, I think this is actually quite good. So how many black sources do we have? Five, six, seven, seven, eight. This is this is a good a good mana distribution. I'm gonna I'm gonna stick with 17. Stick with 17. All right, this is it. This is the game. All right, let's. We went four and five in the last one. Great. Let's do the new one and sheriff. Sheriff. Meow meow meow. Dude, around then bam another five. Oh my god, around then bam. To what do we owe the honor? All right. Hey. Oh my god, everyone now. Oh my god. Oh, I'm so devastated. My father takes care of me at all times. Rawr. We're going up. 
We're going up. We're elevating. The prediction is live. Dude, remember that draft when Day 9 cats me out and he did nothing but eat focaccia bread? That was my favorite draft. Mine, too. That was a mean bite. I dodged out of the way. Nope, you are not going to repel your way up here, little darling. Nope, nope, nope. Get. What the fuck? <laughs> All right, come here. Get out of here. No, don't get on the desk. No. <laughs> what is with the energy level of these cats? No, no. All right. All right, we're free. <laughs> Sheriff. Watch out, your sister's mad. Yeah, dude, I just kicked, I kicked Despy off and now she's gonna go attack Sheriff. This is good, like, this problem is solving itself. Yeah, get her. Yeah, chase her down. All right, let's play this. Uh, Wet Golgari. Yeah, I think this is it. I think the Eryxmathes and the Zamona Dina invasion of Pyrulia are good enough. I I've, I've not found Mutagen Connoisseur very good. And thus it is not in the deck. Swap Muragonda for another Converter Beast. I like Muragonda. Muragonda is barely okay. We did it. I mean, Triple Vat Keeper is pretty sick. Keep commencing Operation Bing Bong with a placid rotten tail. God, this card is just so good. Let me also get some water. Because I'm so thirsty. Keranazia, we'll be right back to answer that question. Burgeoning's happening. Yeah, so says, hey, what's an example of a bad card? So, first of all, I'm playing in the, in what is called a limited format, which means you show up, the game hands you packs, and you open the packs and build something right then and there. And so, let me just say that specific to draft, specific to limited, these formats where you open the packs and then make the deck right then and there, um, it kind of depends on what generally is going on in those packs. So, for instance, if you are, like, in the most recent set, MTG1, I mean, goodness, it was just ridiculously, stupidly fast. It was so fast. It was ridiculous. So, like, if you had a really powerful six or seven mana card, it didn't matter. Whoops, I'm not paying attention. This thing can make two mana. Whoops. Whoopsie daisies. Fuck okay, it, I'll summon it. So, if you're in a format where there's no good two or three mana cards, then maybe some really powerful five and six and sevens. Are good, um, but I would say the most common property of a card being good is the ability for it to two for one. So, what's an example of a two for one? Well, here's a simple one: each player mills three cards, then you return up to two creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Hey, look at that! It's doing two things, even though it is one thing.
But a card like Tandem Takedown has the ability to two for one in a way that's even more powerful. So this is one card and it will put two creature cards into my hand, but it is very, very conditional. Things like removal spells can be really powerful. Because notice what happened. I cast a spell on top of a creature and then my opponent in response blew it up. So, cards that generally do stuff like that are pretty freaking good. I was really tempted to put the two counters on this guy, but he's okay. We're getting swank at for a lot of damage. That is the worst thing in the universe. I should have blocked that and then done it. I, I just made... I'm, I'm just playing poorly because I'm talking instead of paying attention to the game. For instance, chat is one of the, the highest value cards in Magic the Gathering. <laughs> we literally could have been in a way more fine situation. Alright. Take the action. Swamp. Alright, so, so for this I can go doot doot and shoot you. So, this will give each of these plus one plus oh, and then shoot this guy. Die. Oh, I'm a wee I'm a I'm a wee bit bummed at myself for not letting this converter beast die and then casting this. Alright, I'm I'm just getting out of this game. I've I've just played played too poorly. We deserve the death, we deserve the loss. That was that was a severe gameplay loss. That was not not anything identifiably going poorly with the deck, but we did about four or five essential misplays at the end. In a game that had ten total choices. <laughs> well, what can you do? Alright. Sorry, Mr. Day 8. Oh, no, I mean, it's literally impossible for it to be your fault, because I literally can just choose to look away from chat. Pyretic Rungsta. So, actually, I think this is a good uh, option to do now. Gives me a nice block for the prankster. Whoa, really? All right, great, really good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this, this, and I'm going to Gloomfang Mauler for a Swamp. And then, Swamp. Do I want to be aggressive? So. Let's enter the battlefield. What in fuck's name are we doing, dude? Oh 
Oh my god. Cat Mageddon, yeah, no, she's... things that my cat likes to chew on, so we're going to put this nice and right over there. There we go. So I'm actually just going to hang out for a little bit. This is a 4-4. Then I'm going to make this into a 4-4. I'm going to swing. My opponent has Sunfall. I'm going to be devastated. Oh! Invasion of Moab. Not a problem. You need to get a sixth mana and just nuke the Rampaging Raptor. Probably better to do this. Okay. Whew. Stressful shit here, man. I'm absolutely going to unseal the Necropolis because we have two killer cards in here. One, two, three. Bang and bang. Zamon and Xena. Can't quite cast this yet, but I, I think this is actually the better play. Destroy this thing first. We have huge board presence. We have killer cards in hand. A protection spell on this would be fine to bait out right now. Sure. This just makes Amir Prethre. Swing like this, because I mean, this can block however it wants. Another 1 1 has arrived. The benefit also, too, is that Zimona Dina lets me sack a creature to draw a card. So good. Serpent Blade Assailant. Yeah, you know, my, my opponent has now played out enough cards that I actually think it's probably correct for me to just do this. Not swing. Because then I can actually do this, like, sack, draw a card, put a land down, draw a card, put a land down. Really? Alright, sure. Do this. care. It's a fucking 1616. <laughs> I will give it menace. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. Yes. Very good. It's so huge. <laughs> Fuck yeah, man. Look at him. He's, oh, he's screaming, man. He's out of control. located the play. Alright. Bang! This thing. Yeah.
right, so there's that. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's fucking sick, man. Bang. Oh, the Imperiosaur is fucking rad, man. I love the Imperiosaur. 1818 Trample Menace. Mm -mm 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 -mm. All right, Wet Golgari, coming in strong. Ah. <laughs> yeah, Mr. Gray Screen, you like my quiet? Ah, that was pretty cool. Not as cool as when my cat literally knocked all of my shit off my second desk. It's Turkey Town here sometimes, man. Kiranasa says, years ago I used to consume your StarCraft content. What happened? I love, I love how little information you provide me in that statement. Like, that's my favorite part about that. Because what I want to say is, you left me and I, I don't know why. What did I do to upset you? You know, like what? I thought we had something good going. What happened? Because, I don't know, I was making really good content and then you stopped watching. What happened? An overgrown pest. I'm gonna hold back on Zena. Yeah, the Herbology instructor is great. I literally don't know what to do with that, man. Like, I, have, I have like nary a clue. Nary a clue what to do that day. Day nine, why? Oh, this fucking thing is instant speed? Get out of here, man. Who knew that shit? Alright. Soon enough, Day 9 will be coming to Day 9 Town. Oh, what a bastard, man. Oh, come on. Oh, thank god. Thank god. I thought this had an even cost. No, it has an odd cost. Oh, thank you, the stars. Simone and Dina's coming down. I actually kind of think I just need to, like, just block like this. I think this is about the best I can hope for. I have a, I have a tough read on my opponent's deck because he's just like running all the colors. Oh, you got it. Oh, what a bastard. Alright. Okay. Okay.
What are we getting out of here, huh? Do I want this or not? I think I... I think I don't. Instructor is definitely one of them. Probably Zamon and Dina's our, our best one. That's fucking terrible. This one. Put it on this one. I've died. Hmm. Rats. Absolutely rats. It's funny because I think this deck is way better than the implication of how it's doing. It must have been the fact that I was spending all my time eating bread and not dialed into the game. I mean, this is one of the reasons why I like this urn of Godfire. Not in large quantities, but you know, every once in a while, an herb is an herb. Excuse me, an urn, an urn of Godfire, an Ermagird of Godfire. Man, if I lose this, we'll have time for another draft. That's great news. Slash, I'm devastated. Mm -hmm. Well, my opponent's taking forever. Absolutely for freaking ever. All right, Mr. Jude Raw. Or should we say Mr. Rude Jaw? All right, I'm getting more water. Dude, my energy petered right out at five. Like, right when the clock struck five, I felt my brain just fucking power down, man. Dude, this placid rotten tail is going to be slamming. Slam jamming down. Oh, never mind. It's a wary thespian. I think I don't want that. I think I just want mana right now. Elvish Vat Keepers do well with mana. A lot of my other cards do well with mana. Forrester says, Sean, have you renewed your new Corn Cob TV subscription? Oh, I sure have, man. Oh, that's a Thespian. No, I'm not blocking that shit. I'm the one who does the damage. Me, not you, me. I'm going to do this now because my opponent is green-blue. They'll struggle with Dina at this point. They'll struggle with Dana. Erzman, <laughs> I didn't do fucking shit. I didn't rig shit. For any of you who don't know, I think you should leave as one of my absolute favorites. Love, 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 love. We did it. Dude, I think you should leave is just so great. I haven't seen any of season three. We're going to be checking it out this weekend. Man, I've done a bad job. 
<laughs> with this draft. Piloting it, really. Just being the pilot. Being pilot man. Season 3 already out? It is. Isn't it? Isn't it? It is? Isn't it? Isn't season... Or was it at the end of May? I thought it was at the end of April. Oh, it's May 30th? It's the end of May. I don't know the difference between May and now. Why did he just forfeit stuck on two land and getting absolutely dumpstered flower bum? Let me tell you, that guy's getting absolutely cronkle donked in that match. Oh, you think you think I don't know about your Icker drinker. But it is May. I know, I can't tell the difference. I have no idea. It cronkled. Absolutely donkle gronked. Look, this guy's gonna make me discard. I'm just gonna immediately gonna replay a overgrown pest, man. I'm so sick. Have you been following the new From episodes? I stopped watching From. I, because it, it's on like <laughs> I can't remember what the name of the of the of the network is. It's on like Checks or something. Get in there, pesty pal. What's the, what's the name of it? It's on Kicks? Bips? Yeah, go for it. Oh, dude, this guy connected four so hard. What's it called? It's this show that's so good. Oh, Epics. That's right, it's on Epics. Shiner's naming cereals now. I know, I know exactly what I'm doing, Forrester. Dude, I love these people that don't get land. Man, it's a great system. I'm fucking really good at this game. Wow, we really got matched against people that are as bad at drawing land as we are. Play, play, play. Thug snap. There it is. We never get less than four wins, with the exception of that draft we did earlier where I think we just, like, didn't win anything. I'm gonna do the fort at first, and then I might invasion of Pyrulia second. I don't know. Yeah, the haters draft. God, I hate my haters. Let me just let me just let me do some solves over here. Oh fuck. Oh, shit. This is the game. Yeah, like, like, uh, From was one of the better random shows that I started watching of all time. I genuinely think that was a good bin on our part. Yeah, I mean, it's it's very gory and very gruesome, but like, I don't know, I'm kind of getting more into interesting and compelling horror. Well, well, I think I did the right thing. I think I did the right freaking thing. I did the right thing by bottoming all those things, even though it fucking physically hurt me to do so. God! Okay, are you gonna, are you gonna flip, eh? Okay. Well, the good news is that I have this great, awesome converter beast guy here. Holy shit, dude. I don't understand. How is it possible? Oh, 
Oh. Man. Yeah, if, if you want some horror TV, Patrimonia, From would be my number one recommendation for current TV. Although my favorite horror show of all time is The Terror. For like a considerable margin. Well, that, that, that shows, that shows fucking dark, man. Untap the land. Oh, here comes a haste cycler, huh? Holy fucking fuck. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well, someone had to save the day. What the fuck? Holy shit. Four? All right, do this. Where was all my fucking land? Okay, like, dude, we've looked at uh, one, two, three, plus, okay, we've looked at, like, literally the top 17 cards, and there's four land in here? I don't believe this shit. Fuck! Alright. Fucking odds of this shit, huh? I don't know. I don't know. It does appear that we are dead. They won't know what hit him. Dude, dude, literally, literally, we just got land host, and that was it. We just got land host, and that was it. No, I'm so sad. I'm so devastated. It fucking sucks. That's all right. That's all right. Well, three and three with Wet Golgari. Game one, super duper misplay. Super duper ultra, just chains of misplay.